to math. I'm Mr. Little. Never mind that. We're uh, doing some math today. This is really exciting divisibility test. And I can't say that word, divisibility, without pulling a muscle on my neck. So I'll try my best to say it. Okay. We are not dividing numbers necessarily. We're checking if numbers can be divided. So this is like deep brain work, okay? This is knowing how a number can be taken apart without actually taking apart that number, okay? All right, here we go. Looking for lots of volunteers. Um, our first question, how can I tell if a number can be divided by five? Wilfred. If it ends in a five or a zero, okay. So by five, ends in five, not of, not of zero, Mr. Little, or zero. Okay, if it ends in a five or a zero. So a number like 318, okay? Is 318 divisible by five? Winston? No. No, it doesn't end in a five or a zero. How about 510? Susie? Yes. Yes, it ends in a zero. So I can divide that by five, okay? All right, how about 10? How can I test if a number is divisible? Oh, by 10. Um, Janine? Yeah, on and by the way, it's a zero. Yeah, on and on. Yeah, I love one. Okay. Thanks. Awesome. Okay, it ends in a zero. So ends in a zero. Okay, that's it. Not a five, just a zero, okay? Really easy to tell if a number is visible by 10 because it has a zero. Okay, so. A number like 3,761.49. Okay. 3,761. 3, Divisible by zero? Uh, Rudiger? No. No, it doesn't end in a zero. How about 40,900? Divisible by 10? Shannon? Yes. Yes, you with the hair. Yeah, you. Shannon, right? Yes. What's your name? Okay. Yeah. Uh, for my calculation, I think it's yes. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Shannon. Ends in a zero. Okay. We'll leave these ones aside for now because they're more complicated. Three, six, and nine. I can tell you why these work, okay? But you don't have to know. It's not that important. This is just a test, a quick test to see if these numbers are divisible by three, six, and nine. So I'll tell you the trick. If you want to know more detail, I can make a follow-up video explaining in detail why it works. But for now, not important. What's my test to see if a number is divisible by three? I can take that number and make it into three equal parts. Or if three times something can equal that number. What's my test? Fred? Did digits add up to a multiple of three. Thank you, Fred. The digits, digits add to a multiple of three. Okay. The digits are the digits in the number. Okay? So here's what I mean. A number like 425, okay? I break it apart into 4 plus 2 plus 5, okay? 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 5 more is 11. Then I ask myself, self, can I take 3 times anything to get 11? What do you think? Anybody? Can I take three times anything and get 11? Roberta? No. Roberta says no, and she's right. Okay? So 425 is not divisible by three. Okay. 
Let's try another number. So 531. I take 5 plus 3 plus 1. Okay. 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 1 more is 9. Then I ask myself, self, can 3 times anything equal 9? Jaquante? Yes. Yes. Yes, 3 times 3 is 9. So 531 is divisible by 3 because its digits add up to 9, which is a multiple of 3. Okay? All right. For 6, it's the same thing, but we add one little small detail. How can I tell? What's my test for divisibility? Oh. For six. Linda? Absolutely. So all I change here is it has to be an even number and the digits add to a multiple of Three. There are some special exceptions for six, but for the most part, for our purposes here today, that's our rule, okay? So, 531, even though it did just add to a multiple of three, it's not even, so it wouldn't work for six, okay? We'll try a different number, um, eight, okay, eight, 831, that's too similar, isn't it? That's 8 plus 3 plus 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it does work for that, but it's not an even number, so it wouldn't work, okay? I'm trying to make up some here on the spot. It's a little bit tricky. Let's try this. 1, nope, that wouldn't work out either. How about this? Okay, so 2 plus Four plus six. There's a zero there. I'm ignoring that. It's a zero. Okay. Add those up. Four and six is ten. Plus two is twelve. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> so it's an even number. Can I multiply anything by three and get twelve? Three times something equals twelve. Uh, Shirley. Yes, 3 times 4 is 12. So, this first one here is not a multiple, not, a, not divisible by 6, this is not even. This one is even, and a multiple of 3, so that one is divisible by 6. I can take this number and divide that by 6 and get a whole number. Our last one here, 9. What's my test for 9? Anyone remember? This should be in your journal from yesterday if you remember that. What's my test for nine? Franco Amelia? Digits add up to a multiple of nine. Digits add up to a multiple of nine. So digits add up to a multiple of nine okay and again we can test that right different numbers add those numbers and then if nine times anything gives us the sum of those digits okay then that number is divisible by nine the easiest example of this a number like 333 okay because three plus three plus three equals nine okay so that number, they just add to nine, is divisible by nine, okay? There's lots of examples of where that wouldn't work, but here's one that does work, okay? All right, two, four, and eight are a bit more tricky. For two, four, and eight, we break those numbers apart into smaller numbers and factor those. We see if those smaller numbers are divisible by two or four or by eight. Then we know the whole number, I can divide by eight. 
Now, if a number is matches this test for eight, it automatically works for four and for two, okay? Because eight can be broken down into four and two. So let's do one for eight right now, okay? Let's do 232, okay? So I'm looking at 232 and I'm asking myself, what can I break that into? I'm not adding up digits anymore, okay? This is different. For 2, 4, and 8, I'm trying to factor that number. So what can I break that into that I know is a factor, a multiple of 8? That I know I can do 8 times something and get that number. Who wants to try something? Anything. We can always start at the biggest digit if that helps. Or the smallest. In this case, I, I know that I can't break 2 into 8 pieces. Can I break 32 into 8 pieces? Does something times 8 equal 32? Anybody? Yeah, Francine? Yes. Yes, okay. So uh, I'll, take out, I'll take out the 32 and I'll draw it like this, okay? There's my 32, okay? So what times what, so 8 times what equals 32? 8 times what? Francine? 8 times what equals 32? Yeah, Francine? 4. 4, yeah. Are you a bit shy? 8. That's okay. I understand. Okay, 8 times 4 equals 32. The reason why this, if, if this number works for 8s, it'll work for 4s and 2s. So I can break this down into 4 and 2, and it still works, right? That's why if it works for 8, it works for 4 and 2. I have 200 left over, okay? I want to see if I can break that 200 into anything that is divisible by 8. So what could I try? I can try all kinds of things. Taylor? 25. 25? 8 times 25? Is it true? Okay. Just like this? Okay. So I know that 425s is 100. Ooh. So 825s is 200. So yeah, that works just like that. Wow. I like that, Taylor. Okay. So 232 passes the test. I can break those parts down. All those parts that I break it down to are divisible by 8 or are multiples of 8. So I know that my whole number is a multiple, is divisible by 8. Let's do a couple more. Can my friends who are wandering just find their seats? All right. Okay. Let's do two real quick. Okay. Two, five, six, four. Okay. Big number. We want to break this down into numbers that I know I can time something by with 2. So something times 2 equals that number. So what can I break this down into? What's the first thing I want to break this down into for our quiz on Tuesday? I appreciate that one friend's engaged has some ideas here. Thank you, friend. Other ideas? I can always take off the 2,000, right? Might be a good first step. Two times what equals 2,000? Maya? 1,000. Okay, so far so good. I have 564 left over. I don't know if anything times two gives me 564, so I might break off that 64. Does 2 times something equal 64? 2 times something equals 64? Can I cut those numbers in half and get... Harley? Say 32. You're right! 2 times 32 is 64. All I have left is 500. Can I do 2 times something and get 500? How about just 2 times 
Tell them to get 50. Ignore that zero there. Solomon? Two times 250. Two times 250. Okay, so what this shows me is that when I break the number apart into its components here, all those components are multiples of two. I can do two times something to get those, right? It happens here, 64, 500, 2000, which means that that whole number is divisible by two, okay? Same thing for four, all right? I can't fit it here. Do the same process, but if my number is divisible by eight, and it passes this test, it automatically passes this test and this test, okay? That's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching. We lost the class here. Hopefully you're still engaged. Please like, subscribe, and pet your mothers.